This is Twit. Amazon's recognition. ACLU tweeted about the test on Tuesday. The uh, recognition face recognition software wrongly flags 26 California lawmakers as criminals. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's pretty brilliant. One false matches one too many. Uh, face recognition erroneously matched the faces of these legislators with images in an arrest photo database. By the way, I want to point out that only a few of them are people of color. Mm. So uh, it's they have just false positives across the spectrum. Across the, they're getting better. <laughs> they're, they're messing up. They're messing up white people too now, which is good. That's a step forward. Mm. Um, progress. Progress. <laughs> progress. Hashtag progress. I consider this a public service on the part of Amazon because this is how we get lawmakers to pay attention yeah. to issues around yeah. facial recognition. Ah. Yeah. And then when they, they fix it for lawmakers, they can do it for lawmakers. The ACLU. Kids. It's the ACLU. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yes. uh, Amazon's recognition does give a confidence score, mm. uh, but the ACLU, you know, in other words, we think this is 100% accurate or this is, you know, 50% accurate, but the ACLU says Amazon knowingly misleads the public about the uh, software. Amazon knows with 100% certainty that its law enforcement customers are using lower confidence scores or no score at all when using the customers, uh, the company's system. Mm. Uh, that's not good. So face recognition has some problems. I think there are reasonable places to use it, like, well, Taylor Swift uses it at concerts <laughs> to keep, no, because there's known stalkers and troublemakers, and it just keeps them out of the concert. I did not expect you to go the Taylor Swift angle. Uh, Tay, Tay can use it. <laughs> Tay, Tay can use it. Uh, I will yeah. say, I was renting a car this morning and pulling out of the rental place, and they're like, oh, you can use Clear. Just roll down the window and look at the camera to check out your rental car. And that's the moment when I was like, Huh. I'm not sure I really am I love 100% clear. cool with. We use clear oh. coming home from Orlando on Friday. I love clear when I put my fingers on well, the Well, usually thing, it is finger or iris, but, but it used your face. But not when a was looking into your Maybe it car. saw your irises. Do you think mm -hmm. it saw? Because you Maybe. never gave him your face. Clear right. you give him your fingerprint and your irises. Right. So, so you're the government guy, Matt. Why are you using Clear instead of Global Entry? I ha uh, I have Global Entry. In fact, the U.S. Digital Service helped work make that better. Unfortunately, um, the yeah. rental car company yeah. doesn't have Global Entry. It doesn't. But also, <laughs> uh, I I have Clear like as a complimentary thing for another. Yeah, thing, Clear's so. great. It lets you into concerts. It lets you into uh, apparently you can rent cars with it. <laughs> Just grab a hey, hurt and go. Gonna, yeah, Matt. I mean, Matt, I can hook you up with my mask guy. Don't worry about it. Just to be <laughs> and consider, you know, I mean, giving the government all your information to make your life easier is what one could thing, go but wrong? You're giving giving information to a third party commercial entity is is another thing. Do you do you uh, do you wear a mask in public, Denise? How do you prevent that? <laughs> Have you seen there, there is that guy. There is the guy. I was actually googling for the story who made mm -hmm. a mask of his own face yeah. that then he will sell for everyone else to wear. And I was thinking maybe he should that's, be that guy. Yeah. yeah now yeah. we know what he looks like because Odoc is wearing that mask. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, well, many yeah, people no, don't I, know this, but Denise is actually a 22-year-old fashion blogger from Japan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, on the internet, you can do anything. Four-year-old. There you go. Yeah.